When you first log in to classroom.google.com, you'll be taken to your home page where you'll see a tile for each of your classes. You can reorder these any way that you would like by dragging and dropping the different tiles. So if you would like to order by class period, you can do that. In the bottom right hand corner of each of your class tiles, you'll see two buttons. First, you'll see your work for that class, and then you'll see the folder for this class in your Google Drive. Everything that you do in Classroom is saved in your Google Drive, and it's all organized inside a folder for you. It's called Classroom. If I click on the Work button, it'll take me into the class and show me all of the work that I have due for that class. It'll show me what I have turned in, what's missing, and anything that has been graded. To get back to that home page, I click the More button, the main menu in the upper left-hand corner, and select Classes. In the upper right-hand corner of each of your class tiles, you'll see three dots. If you click those, you'll see you have the option to move or to unenroll from the class. If for some reason you no longer are in one of your classes, you can select to unenroll. To open up any of your classes, you click on the name of the class and it will take you in. The first page when you log in is called the stream. This is where your teacher will post updates and announcements. You won't find any classwork here. You'll just find messages from your teacher. You'll also see what assignments you have upcoming off to the left hand side. You'll see what's due soon and you can click view all to view all of your assignments you can narrow down what you see. By default, you'll see all of your assignments. Below that, you can see those that have been assigned. You can see those that have been returned by your teacher. And you can see what is missing. You can then open up any of these assignments right from this screen. Let's head back to the stream. The second page in Google Classroom is called the Classwork page. On the classwork page, this is where you'll find all of your course assignments and materials. Any materials that your teacher posts will have a gray symbol next to it. Materials can be things like videos or PDFs, anything that they are uploading that's extra information for you. Any color icons that are on your classwork page are assignments that you need to turn in. Off to the left-hand side, you'll see your topics. If your teacher has created topics in Google Classroom, you'll see each of them here. You might have topics that are by week, you might have a topic for each chapter, and they might be organized by the topics you talk about in class. You can click on any of the topics and see all of the material and assignments that have been posted and assigned to that topic. On the classwork page, there are a few buttons at the top. First, you can view your work. That's that same page that we've been looking at that shows you a list of your assignments. If your teacher has created a Meet link for your class, you'll see the icon here to join that Meet whenever asked. Then you'll see a Google Calendar. You'll have a calendar for each of your Google Classroom classes that will have all of your due dates already on it for you. You then have a link to that Google Drive folder that's automatically organizing all of your assignments. Then you have the People page. On the People page, you'll see your teachers at the top, and then you'll see the other students who are in your class. To access your Google Classroom settings, you click the main menu button again, and the very last option is Settings. Also in this menu, you'll see any classes that teachers have archived, a list of the classes that you're enrolled in, and a to-do list of the assignments that you have coming up. And then you have another link to that calendar that's automatically created for you for each of your classes. If I open up the calendar, I can see what assignments are due. By default, it's showing me all classes, and I can change that if I want to select just one individual class to see what's coming up. 